around the globe today, people with type 1 diabetes are dying because they cannot afford or get hold of insulin, supplies, education, and treatment. And according to T1 International, for every two people living with diabetes, one cannot get hold or get access to the insulin they need or proper access to healthcare that they need. So due to the lack of awareness in Zimbabwe, people are dying and being diagnosed with diabetes at post-mortem. And some, they would have already developed the long-term complications that could have been prevented or delayed had there been proper access to healthcare or if associations were even that powerful. It is therefore important to me as a diabetic patient and as an advocate that health care, health education is the basic key in the management of type 1 diabetes because without knowledge there is no way one can succeed in managing this complex chronic illness. Having access to the necessary diabetes supplies is crucial. However, if you do not know how to use these supplies, it, they become useless. Thus, education is regarded as a critical thing in the management of type 1 diabetes. And according to the American Diabetes Association, diabetes is considered a complex chronic illness requiring continuous medical care with multifactorial risk reduction strategies beyond the glycemic control. In that regard, there is mounting evidence to suggest that achieving the best control of blood glucose as soon as or after diagnosis or after the confirmation of a diagnosis of diabetes is of paramount importance to help minimize and even to avoid the long-term complications of this condition. Therefore, ongoing patient self-management education and support are critical in the preventing of acute complications so as to reduce the risk of the long-term complications that comes with diabetes. Thank you. We are the change that we need. We are the agent of change. So let's be the change. Let's leave the change and help this world to be a better place. I thank you.